Hey folks, I want to <clears throat> give my little take on what's happened here. And my take is a take in no way, shape, or form the take of a, a lone ranger or a lone wolf. Many people have my take. The problem is nobody's speaking up. Um, I want to tell you right now, right now, uh, the little few people that I do reach, that you need to be making a stand, and you need to not be worried about YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of these social media shitholes. Uh, which have had some good aspects to them when they let folks speak freely. Um, listen, it is because people like me and people like you are, are not speaking up. And I mean speaking up when you go to the grocery store, the shopping mall, uh, the movies, Wherever you go, you need to be speaking up and you need to be telling these people. Uh, let me give you an example. If I, if I see an ignorant person with a Black Lives Matter shirt on, I immediately tell them how full of crap they are. I don't give a damn if it's a group of 10 of them. I don't care. Well, why are you so racist? Uh, I'm anti-racist, that's why, and I'm willing to fight, fight for anti-racism, and that is why I will go up to these communist lunatics, because that's what they are, and their ignorant friends whom don't know no better, whom they have half brainwashed, and the only reason they've got all these people brainwashed is that good people are not speaking up. BLM went through the streets, rioted, pillaged, burned things down uh, in the name of racism. They went and burned down uh, people of all races, including black races, things. And people in BLM, they're comprised of all races. But the one common denominator they have is they don't want you to be free. You can't talk because if you talk, you tear down their narrative, which is just a pack of lies. Look, folks, with this war going on, uh, with Israel and Hamas, and it's really Israel and the Mid East. <clears throat> and radicals therein uh, on both sides. But in America, Australia, the UK, all of Western Europe, and North America, lunatics are coming out from the loony bins, getting in the streets saying, gas the Jews. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we can defeat just like that and crush this vermin. And that's what it is. Make no mistake about it. In weeks. Now I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. And I believe half of you, probably most of you, that see this video, uh, be it today or two years from now, you'll say, hey, I feel like this guy feels too. I don't care what your color is. I don't, I don't really give a crap about none of that. I don't give a crap about what your station in life is. Uh, you can be a garbage picker up or you can be the CEO of IBM Corporation. That, that doesn't mean crap to me. Uh, your color, your nationality, none of it. But here's what I would do. And here's what I suggest for the stupid in Western Europe, 
the stupid in Australia, the stupid in North America. We need to scoop these people up. If, if you're a Chinaman and you're in BLM, you should be scooped up off the streets and your ass should be sent to China. Whether you, you're a born national there or not. If you're of Chinese heritage and you're about shit like that, you don't deserve to be living in a country of freedom. You don't deserve to be allowed to spread this filth. Uh, if you are a black person and you're spouting shit like that, you should be plucked up and you should be sent and dropped off in the worst war zone uh, in on the continent of Africa. If you are of Middle East descent and you're running around New York City promoting uh, gassing all the Jews, you should be plucked up and dropped right in Gaza. That should be your fate. That should be your fate. If you are a white man and uh, you are all in up on uh, gassing the Jews or this bullshit, you're a bullshit white liberal who believes that uh, you're in the Black Lives Matter and you participated in tearing people's businesses down, killing and pillaging of innocent people, which happened. Uh, you need to be plucked up and your ass needs to be dropped in the worst war zone in Africa as well. You motherfuckers need to be pulled up, plucked up, and uh, sent away from decent people. We are getting sick to death of your kind. We are sick to death. Uh, you look over there in Israel, a big statue of uh, Buddha or the Hindu goddess of destruction painted gold and men running around dressed as women. That enemy meant what they said when they said they wanted to kill all of your dumb asses. And yet you're out there liberal as hell. And boy, you cut and you turned tail and you ran, didn't you? You were unprepared because there's nothing decent about you. Somebody will give you a warning. When they tell you they want to gas and kill you, they mean it. When these groups of white liberals and these black people over there in B BLM say they want to destroy you and destroy your country and steal your freedoms, uh, starting with your freedom of speech, which exposes their lies, they say they want you dead or out. They mean it. And for all these liberal asses in power in any Western European, North American, or Australian country, uh, they need to be plucked up and they need to be dropped in Gaza. They need to be plucked up and they need to be dropped in African war zones. Or the most poverty-stricken areas in Africa. And what we should do for every one of these people we take out and, and drop there, uh, drop off there, what we need to do is take a deserving uh, black African or a deserving person from the Middle East that wants peace and wants freedom and replace that piece of shit white liberal uh, or black BLM communist with an African or a Middle Easterner that really wants love, peace, and freedom around them. That's who they should be replaced with. And if we do that, this world will get better. Henry Kissinger just gave an interview as he's as he's dying he's he's uh as he's got one foot in the grave there uh is now saying after 
75 years of promoting all this diversity and multicultural shit and letting these people spill over our borders legally and illegally uh, in the name of diversity is saying, I was wrong. See, he's fixing to meet God and he's trying to make amends for what he's doing. And But meanwhile, it's too late for everybody else that he harmed in the CFR and all these other organizations that mean you nothing but death and destruction so they can gain more power. Uh, I am against killing. I am against being racist for the sake of being racist. But when you've got a group, uh, would you take a group of uh, Irishmen and move them into your country. And uh, these Irishmen, all they want to do is disrupt your government, uh, pull you down and kill you. And they're telling you that's what they want to do to you. Of course you wouldn't. Would you take a group of white Americans and move them over into Eastern Europe that want to kill you? and drag your economy and your government and your system down? Of course you wouldn't. So it's not racist to want these people the hell up out of your country. I've heard a lot of people are standing up now, finally, and they're saying the citizenship, citizenship of this terroristic trash, be they naturally born, uh, generationally lived North Americans that they've been there many generations or been in England many generations or been in Australia many generations plucking these terroristic people up and, and those rights were terrorism and plucking these people up be they white liberal elitist uh, black people, uh, Chinese people, Japanese people, wherever they come from, uh, Middle East people, plucking them up, stripping their citizenship, and dropping them off in the country of their nationality. And that's what needs to be done. If you've been shit on so badly that you feel like you need to go out and you need to terrorize other people around you. you uh, and, and it's because of their color. It's because of their religion. You need to be plucked up and returned from whence you came. This is a new thing, a new phenomenon, and it needs to be eradicated. And yet again, the warning you all get, those people were over there. Stupid, liberally stupid, and false love enough to get down and right at the border with these people that want to kill them and hold a liberal perverted sexual concert for them to look across the gate and see, no wonder that happened. And while Israel is promoting all this promiscuity, sexual uh, perversion, bad things, uh, unprepared, those people that come across that border were had one thing in mind while those people were partying in their perversion, and that was to murder as many of them as they could. And I don't want to hear nothing coming out of anybody's mouth, a black man, a Chinaman, an Englishman, a German, uh, a Middle Eastern, uh, Asian, nobody's mouth on me, on people like me. Because it is you that is the trash. It is liberals that have infiltrated all Western Christianity, uh, sects of Christianity, 
and made it this powder puff sexual perversion bringing in it. Uh, women in the pulpit just going to against all sections of biblical word trying to tear us down. And we are no better for allowing that trash than those Islamicists over there that we say are polluting their holy book. We're no better. We are no better. And a word to the Middle East, before you, you tens of millions hundreds of millions of your dumb asses end up getting annihilated. Maybe you should go through your areas and clean your houses of, the, of this trash and these people too. And we need to be doing the same with our people. This world is getting sick, sick. When you look up in the Western world, and the man of the year is weirdo Dylan Mulvaney. Something's wrong. And it's very weird how uh, this is going to sound offensive, but I'm going to say what I feel. No more of this shit with me. Social media can stuff it. It is amazing to me how all these white freaks that are dressed up as men look like old Jewish women. That's just totally shocking to me. Totally shocking. Uh, that should say speak volumes in itself. A lot of religions have pushed a lot of filth on Western culture, and they all need to be called out. They all need to be called out. But God showed us something big that nobody and I mean, nobody's talking about. Had that big concert going, that big festival, all that sexual perversion and half-naked men uh, saying they're women and women saying they're men. And who comes flying across there to get them? Like the Bible says, the greatest army will be a feminized and will be walked the hell all over and we got an indication of what that feminization was at that concert every sort of debauchery go back and look at the videos of that concert look as it's panning around and all those idols are out there look as it's panning around and all these sexual perverts and deviants out there dancing half naked that should give you the lesson you need. That should give you the lesson you need. To all people of all colors in North America, you sat there and you watched the news and you see in the background a whole fucking neighborhood burning down. People went in and pillaged and stole everything they could get their hands on and burnt the shit down. They don't love black people. They don't love any people. They are criminals. They are thieves. They are murderers. They are liars. They are cheats. They are perverts. And a newsman standing there going, Well, tonight it's been relatively peaceful the whole while the damn neighborhood's burning down behind him. Wake up. Be bold. Say something about this shit. And if you don't, you deserve everything to come to your doorstep. As for me and my house, we're going to speak up. We don't have a bone with a black man. We don't have a bone with a Far East Asian person. We don't have a bone with a Mid East Asian person. We don't have a bone to pick with uh, Africans, Japanese. We ain't got a bone to pick with anybody. But other than you people of all colors, all religions, and your bullshit, and you're trying to tear black and white North Americans, black and white United Kingdom, and black and white 
Australians and Western Europe civilization down. There's a hell of a lot of people from a hell of a lot of diversity and shades of skin color that we like our peaceful civilization. We like our clean civilization. It's so clean, everybody leaves where they're at to come where we are. And, and that's the truth. And why do they do that? Because it's a filthy fucking cesspool of trash, filth, crime, and everything negative you can think about. And every immoral act you can think about in the book that they're trying to escape to come to where Western Europeans live, Australians, or North Americans. We need to wrap them up in a neatly bundled package, strip them of their citizenship, and send them, their kids, their grandmas, all of them, guilt by association, back to where the hell they came from. Yes, I said guilt by association. Why would I say that? Because I love the Bible and I love Christ. And the Bible says if you are hanging around a den of thieves, you are a thief. So everybody, put that in your damn pipe and smoke it. I don't care what you think of me. And if you hate me and you don't like me, you know what? Chances are pretty damn good I don't like your dumb ass either. Put that in your pipe and smoke it.